Hey, hello fellow hair loss sufferers, YouTube surfers, and uh, online forum post readers. Uh, Dr. Alan Fellow here on the car, heading to the office. Uh, this is one of the routes I will take on a regular basis uh, to go to work to do the hair transplantation that I'm going to do uh, on you, perhaps. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day uh, to commute to work. I remember when I was on surgical service back in my intern and residency days, uh, we used to have to get up so early, the sun was barely up. And uh, uh, you went to work, it was dark, and uh, you came home, it was dark. Uh, I went into practice on my own, I was able to set my hours a little bit later. And I think this is uh, a much more enjoyable way to begin the day. I'm just working my way up toward the office. And uh, this is a small journey I take every day. Uh, very analogous to the journey a uh, hair loss sufferer takes when uh, he's going through hair loss and trying to do something about it. Uh, it's always a start point. And uh, for me, that was when uh, I walked into a 7-Eleven uh, or a 7-Eleven type store and I uh, looked into one of those video cameras and they had the screen right there to let uh, people know they were being watched. And I looked down and saw a fellow with uh, significant hair loss in the front of his head and I said, wow, that, that guy has very similar clothing to mine. And then I said, wow, that guy moves the way I move. And then I realized, of course, it was me. And that was my... Uh, my awakening period, if you will. That was when I was about 25 years old, and uh, that was the start of my journey. Uh, at the time, there was there was really no uh, hair loss remedies, or at least nothing that was uh, FDA approved or really proven. Mostly just the shampoos and ointments, which uh, I knew intuitively were were useless, just money makers for the manufacturers. Uh, but. Uh, I uh, found hair transplantation of all places in a uh, phone book and met with a doctor uh, who was doing them. Uh, he was one of the first to do them, um, not using the plug method. At the time, it was very advanced. And uh, long story short, I was invited to join this practice, and I did for a while, uh, and then decided to go out on my own. Okay, now we're coming up on Fella Medical. Uh, this is this building hidden by these trees here. Uh, there is a convenient uh, turn lane that you can go into, and there are two entrances, one on the east side and one on the west side. There's, uh, there's really one, one main reason I picked this building, and that's because it has endless parking. Uh, this one may be a little more congested up here, but underneath you can probably park a few tractor trailers at the worst part of the day. Okay. Okay, so let's catch the elevator up to the office. Here we go. We'll go to uh, the second floor. That's where uh, I've been for 17 years in this building. You know, girl from Ipanema. Do standard elevator music. I'm sure you do. come out you make a right turn and you go to those double doors that you see at the end of the hall and as usual I get my phone calls fellow medical if you if you want to find out what's on the other side of these doors you're either gonna to have to book a procedure or wait until I do another video take care everyone uh, go to fellowmedical.com